Hi, so whenever I watch nature documentaries, I always get incredibly stressed when the animal dies. Run! Oh, oh, unbelievable. And it always makes me wonder, how did the people filming not get emotional? Because if I were involved, I would be very interfering. Hungry, the hyena approaches passing wildebeests. Barry, I got an orange. You don't have to do it. Psst. All right, you can have my lunch, mate. You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. The bear struggles to capture fish in a stream nearby. Being larger and slower, food has been hard to come by. Psst. Gaza. Gaza, I got you some salmon, mate. Psst. The spirit bear feasts on salmon bought by the documentary's producer. This and the Subway sandwich she bought for him will get him through the day. And the whole hiding in the bushes thing, I don't think I'd be very good at that either. <laughs> oh, sorry. Judy, look away. Sorry, just pretend we're not here. I'm sorry. Come on, I'll give you a Mars bar. Come on, king size. And 10 bucks. They say they don't do it for the money. You know, and the emotional trauma when an animal dies. This was Gary, or as I like to call him, Gazman. Um, I had been filming Gary for... Uh, <laughs> it's so silly that I'm crying. Gary used to laugh at me when I cried, it's crazy. I know you're not meant to get emotionally tied to them and they say when you start the job, don't get tied to the animal because they might die, but you do, you do. I remember when he was little, I remember the first time he took a girl behind the bushes. I remember the time when I followed another gazelle because I thought it was him for so long and he was just laughing at me from behind. People like Gary, sorry, animals like Gary, they just show the world how beautiful it can be. And that's why I'm not involved in nature documentaries. Yeah, that's why. Just like how the reason I'm not an Olympian is because I don't like standing outside in the sun. If I were filming a nature doco, it'd probably go down like this. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, oh, tape's good. Yeah. Oh, I should probably take this off my phone. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't want to get fingerprints. Yeah, the sad thing is I actually do keep the screen protectors and all my things. I don't know, I feel like kind of peeling them off is... You know, it feels like the phone is growing up. It must be what it feels like when a parent sends a kid off to school or when they see their child graduate or get married. It must be exactly what that feels like. That is a very just comparison. Also, you've probably noticed I am a month older. You are a month older since we last saw each other. I know we need to stop meeting like this. I have been working on videos. However, I am afraid that I look too good in them. So I haven't put them up yet. No, they, they haven't quite worked out, but I am working on them. I will see you guys soon though, because I am always working on videos and I love making them and I love reading your comments and stuff like that. So I will see you soon. And until then, be well, be safe, and don't touch each other. For now, because it's Bonham Music Slash Comment time. And yes, I know many of you were digging the facial hair in the last video. You know what guys? It was natural, it's crazy. And a lot of you asked to see Jenny and Jason get together. There were a lot of sex scenes that I filmed but the lighting in them was just awful, so maybe I have to film them again. Does that count as touching yourself? And I know this is dorky, but I love how many of you sent me pictures of puzzles that you were also making. How great is it? We're the biggest losers ever. Except this person. This person's a champion.